Office Christmas Party. So Office Christmas Party has a cascade of comedic people involved, basically revolving around Jason Bateman's character. He is the manager of this office space that's some sort of technology company. The branch leader of this space is TJ Miller, and his older sister happens to be the CEO of the company. The older sister, played by Jennifer Aniston, comes into the branch and says, look, things are getting tough around this time and we might have to close your branch. Jennifer Aniston's character gives them an ultimatum if they can get a certain corporate head to join in on their company, then the branch can be saved. This leads to TJ Miller having the brilliant idea if they throw an amazing Christmas party at the office, they'll definitely get the guy on board. And that's your basic premise for Office Christmas Party without giving any spoilers to you guys. This is a spoiler free review. I'm just gonna tell you what I liked about the film, what I didn't like, hit you with a rating system just like this one, let you know if you see it in the cinema, rent it, or maybe just avoid the film completely. Now this film is made by the same directors who are responsible for the film Blades of Glory. Now Blades of Glory is one of those guilty pleasure films where I understand if people think it's trash, but it's really funny to me. And honestly, when it comes to comedies, I don't judge that hard. If you can make me laugh, no matter how dumb, stupid, or clever it is, I'll just enjoy it. So just take that in mind that I'm a giggly person. I just enjoy comedies for the fun of it. I'll start off with some of the positives of this film. Definitely all the actors and actresses they have involved with this project. Of course, you have your main three leads that are Jason Bateman, TJ Miller, and Olivia Munn. But also thrown in there, you have people like Kate McKinnon, Jennifer Aniston, and just a bunch of actors that you'll recognize from small parts in other comedies where you're like, oh, I've seen that guy somewhere. Oh, he's pretty funny in that one show. Oh, I like her. And I mean, that's what the first 10 minutes of this film are like, is they're just popping up. You're getting to know what they're like what their characters, what their traits are. And that's kind of the fun of it, because no one, two character is the same. You know, you have your asshole, you have your stuck up, you have the straight face. It makes for an enjoyable time because you have all these different characters and you just can't wait to see them bash out in this party. But honestly, the two funniest people in this film for me were Kate McKinnon and TJ Miller. TJ Miller, I'm so surprised because he's usually known for playing those cocky asshole but really funny guys. And in this film, he's a bit of a sweetheart. He doesn't want his branch to shut down. He just wants to throw an awesome Christmas party. He's that guy who just wants all his friends to like him. So in that perspective, it was a different TJ Miller that I've seen in the past. And the same sort of thing with Kate McKinnon. She played this really awkward HR lady who was like a stickler for the rules. I think her and Toby from The Office would get along just great. So plenty of talent in this film to make you laugh. And that's another positive, of course. The film is actually pretty funny. I will guarantee at least three big laughs, and then throughout the film you're having little chuckles here and there. Also, another cool thing about this film is it's also set up in little sub-stories. You have the main story of Jason Bateman and TJ Miller where they're trying to get this guy on board so their branch isn't Shut down. But then in the midst of all that, you have other people that are trying to hook up together, that are having their little side stories. And so that's kind of fun because throughout the film, you're cutting away to these different stories and you're invested in most of them. And if one isn't interesting to you, in about two minutes, they'll cut to something else. But I would say for the most part, I think there were about six different stories. Out of all those, I found four pretty interesting. And don't worry, it's not in that scenario in like Valentine's Day or New Year's Eve where in the end, all the stories come together. No, they're just little stories that flow in nicely with the main story. So with that said, there were a few things I found I didn't like about the film. For one, this movie is called Office Christmas Party, and to be honest, the Christmas party is pretty short in the film. So the way you cut it up is at the beginning, you're meeting all the characters, you're setting up for the party, and then in the middle, you have the party, and then there's this whole other chunk of story I don't want to spoil that's going on after the party. Then this beginning and final act take up a bunch of space, and you're really left with a little Christmas party. A lot of crazy little shenanigans happen within that party, but it's not really enough to be called Office Christmas Party. And it's also a very predictable film. Things they say at the beginning of the film, you're like, oh, they're eventually going to do that at the end. It's that sort of thing where you're like, man, I'd never have strawberries because I'm allergic to them. Then you're in the audience thinking this guy's going to eat a strawberry at some point in the movie. It's just little things that they set up at the beginning that are very obvious are going to happen at the end of the film. Those are really the two things that bothered me the most. There were some actors or actresses in the film I felt were underused, especially like Rob Corddry. He's an actor that I feel is pretty funny and good at being that douchebaggy role and I just felt like they really underused him in this film. Same goes with a few other cast members, but I guess that's what you get when you combine so many groups of people into this one film. But really overall, it was just an entertaining film. It is goofy and silly at times, but I think that's the point. I mean, you're not supposed to take it too seriously. And I definitely think if you like Blades of Glory, you'll really like this film too. But anyways, guys, those are just my opinions on Office Christmas Party. Let me know what you thought about it when you got around to seeing the film. Curious to know your thoughts, but as always, I'm Chris, and I leave with the 3C Film Review. Take care.